build your brand in social networks, the first thing you need to do is to create an account in all those networks. Maybe not all of them, but the most important ones. So let's talk briefly about what you can share. You can share text. It can be short text, like a sentence. We call that a tweet or a quick update. It can be a full page. That's more like a blog post. It can be an image, of course. It can be a video. It can be location. Location is an update. When you say, I am here right now, just a link is an update. There are many others, of course, but those are the main ones. Go ahead and create an account in all the major social networks. So let's have a look at them. Facebook, you probably have a Facebook account, but what you probably don't have is a Facebook page. If it's you for your personal brand, or you as a brand, or your brands, if you have 10 brands, you need as many Facebook pages as you have. Otherwise, you can just do just one for your business. So go ahead in search pages. You will find how to create a page, pretty easy. Then when you have done that, you can start sharing on that page. The reason why you want a Facebook page is that a Facebook profile is limited to 5,000, at least at the moment when I say that, 5,000 friends. And on Facebook pages, it's absolutely unlimited. And then you have to find a cool name for it. If you can get the name, which will be facebook.com slash Loic, that's mine, for example. Uh, one account as well with uh, LinkedIn, the professional social uh, network. And you will see there are pages there as well, which we can set up. So if you know how to do that, go ahead and set up a, a page for your company as well in LinkedIn. Then keep going with YouTube, with video, create a YouTube channel, get everything ready and ready to get some subscribers to your channel. Then go to Twitter. Twitter, the difference between Twitter and Facebook is that Twitter since the beginning is mostly about being public, being followed. If the name you want is already taken, well, that happens, find another one. My advice would be to find one which is as short as possible and easy to remember. Then when you have done that, go ahead and keep going with uh, Flickr. If you don't have one for photos, Finally, I would do one with a question and answer site such as Formspring. Try to get the same name everywhere if you can, because you're going to establish a brand online. And finally, I would also create an account on Foursquare, the popular location service where you can check in. The other one is Gowala. Um, and we will see after that, when you're done with all of those, how to update them. And uh, I would, oh, I would do a last one, Google Buzz, which is the new one uh, from Google. Create your presence there, set everything to public. And when you have done all of this, it should take you some time, we can move to the next step and start customizing it. Before leaving you here, you can also, in some services, customize the background. On Twitter, for example, you can change the background of the page. Just do something basic, you don't have to do that. We can do much more advanced uh, later. So. See you at the next episode.